Hey guys, welcome to the channel. This channel is all about professional coding practices. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to run Docker Compose on an Amazon EC2 instance. So we'll go over also when you might apply this pattern. Here's an overview of this video. We'll start out with an introduction, then we'll run an EC2 instance, we'll SSH into that instance, we'll mount the data volume to store the data, and then we'll run the application. Running an application with Docker Compose in production is simple and quick, but you might really do this in a production environment. You might do this for a hobby project or when you're experimenting with AWS. Self-manage, uh, it's not so good. It's a lot of effort and it's really hard to scale. With managed hosting like uh, EKS or ECS, you're on to a good start of you know easy deployments, easy maintenance, etc. So, but we'll proceed nevertheless with this demo project. It's a simple one. It has an Nginx service. There's a few services and there's a MongoDB database. So let's get started by running an EC2 instance. We'll choose Amazon Linux 2 and T2 Micro. Those are free tier. Then we'll create a key pair to be able to SSH into the machine. Then we'll add user data to install Docker and Docker Compose with the machine. So if this is something, this is, this kind of setup is something that we're often doing, we might create a template from this. So let's head over to the console and get started. We are in the region we want to be in, and we'll press launch the instance. We'll choose yes, then name. Then we'll choose Amazon Linux 2. T2 Micro, we'll create a new key pair. We'll call it PAM file just for simplicity. We'll create a security group. We'll allow HTTP traffic for this simple instance. Then we'll go to advanced settings, scroll all the way down to user data. This is where we need to provide this script. So we'll paste it in here, looks good. So then we'll launch our instance. We'll need to wait a few seconds until it's ready. So let's wait until it's ready and then move to the next step. Now that our instance is running, let's SSH into that instance. Let's modify the permission file, etc., and SSH to verify Docker and Docker Compose are installed. So let's head over to our console. Let's find the instance, it's running. We'll need the IP address. Let's open the terminal. And then we need to modify file so it can be read and then we'll provide so we'll connect with this permission file as this user here this is the user the default user for Amazon Linux 2 and then we'll provide the IP address so we need to trust this computer now we're inside the machine so let's see Docker V for the Docker version, uh, it's here, and Docker Compose V, it's here. Well done. So now everything is set up, so now we can move into the next step. In most cases, we want our application instances to be stateless. So in this example, we're going to mount a uh, volume. So we can take snapshots or, or move data between regions if we want to. So let's head over to the console and get, get it started. So we're inside volumes and we'll create a new volume. We'll just choose one gigabyte, that's enough. We need to select the same availability zone as our instance. Okay. And that's great. So let's create, let's create this volume. So Amazon has uh, excellent documentation on how to mount volumes, uh, but it's really just a few steps. So here is our volume and it should be ready real soon. It's available. So now we need to attach it to our instance. 
so and we need to provide a mount point all right and let's go into there and see it's attaching so if we run our this command here we should see the drive okay it's here so now we need to Need to format the drive. Let's do that, and then we need to create a directory here, and then we'll map that data directory to our formatted drive, like this. Sorry, we need sudo for this. And then if we list this, now we see we have this drive here and it's mounted to this drive, this folder. So here we'll see our data be created with that. All right, let's, let's move to the next step. Okay, we have everything set up. Now we just need to run the application. We'll copy a few files into our instance, so these are nginx configuration and the docker compose file that's needed to bootstrap the application. Once we've copied those files over, we'll, we'll SSH into the machine again and docker compose, run it up and then it should be working. So let's do this. So we'll open up our terminal and we'll run the script, the, we should copy files into our instance so here we need uh, copying copying uh, with with these permits this pem file copying copying this here file and the next config and we'll need to provide the ip address so we have that in our console here this all right and then we'll do the same for the other five and we'll need to provide the IP address as well this all right then then uh, we can go into the machine here here I'm inside it inside uh, inside ssh and let's verify that these files are indeed here and so if we just take a quick look at them so this is uh, nginx configuration that's exposing the api and the front end after the docker compose file then we can see it um, it's downloading a version of the API and the front end and Nginx and exposing on port 80. So now everything seems to be ready and we can just run this script here. So once this is ready, because we have our ex application exposed on port 80, we should just be able to head over to the terminal and navigate to the application. So we IP address here and write HTTP because it's not HTTPS and when this is downloaded this it will be running all right so PS. everything is here so run this we have the application and now we can create some data my dog and the name and create all right thank you all for this hands-on tutorial i'll provide helpful links in the description please like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video